My name's Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff, where I'll make a healthy dinner from start to finish and pair it with wines from around the world. Let's fill up that glass. Hi, my name's Jeff Makarevich, and welcome to Wine and Dine with Jeff. Today, we're doing shrimp croquet in this lemon piccata sauce that you will love, and I'm pairing it with this Sauve Blanc from Alexander Valley. Let's get started. Here, I have some cooked shrimp. Yes, cooked. You know when you get them behind the counter that they're already cooked? I had a pool party, and I laid them all out. I had so many leftover shrimp shrimp, I wanted to think of something to do with leftover shrimp because everybody was still at the house and I wanted to do something savory and warm for the tummy. So this is it. So obviously you just want to take your uh, shrimp tails off. Shrimp tails are off, right? In the food processor. And you can pulse this to get to the consistency that you want. And I like a little bit of a thicker consistency like that, not a complete mush. And actually, just so you could see what it looks like, um, or you could actually chop them up into tiny little pieces yourself. Let's get the rest of the uh, ingredients going. Let's get started on the easy filling here. I have an egg already in the bowl there, as you can see. I'm gonna add a little bit of mayonnaise to this and we are going to add some chopped up parsley for some nice little summery light flavor. And to that, we're going to add just a touch of some Dijon mustard going right on in there. Okay. Onto the side of the bowl. Of course, it didn't make it in, but <laughs> I'll get it in there <laughs> eventually. Hello, spatula. I know you were going to come in handy. And then some lemon juice. What goes great with shrimp, right? Some fresh lemon juice. So fresh lemon juice is going in. And we've got a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. So just a touch of that going in. And let's whisk all this together. And we'll just add some salt and pepper to this. Now this is going to flavor up the shrimp. Give it a very mild, delicate flavor and, and hold all that delicious, uh, actually, breadcrumbs that we have going on together. Now to that, let's add a little bit of some cracked pepper going right on in. Some cracked pepper and a little bit of cracked uh, sea salt going in. So a little bit of salt going in there. And now let's add our shrimp that we actually put through the food processor and ground up a little. Now this is where you could, up to you, I'd like to actually see chunks of my shrimp in these croquettes or there's a Frenchy, you know, a, a very fancy word other than you can just say uh, shrimp meatballs is another easy way of saying it. So you want to make sure and coat all the shrimp in this sauce first before we add the breadcrumbs. So all that is coated in and looking delish, right? Okay, now what we're going to do is, what do I have? Some buttery Ritz crackers, <laughs> right? So um, you could either crush them up in a little uh, plastic bag like this, get your anger out a little bit, right? <laughs> or you can put it through a food processor, however you wanna uh, crush up your Ritz crackers. So this will help bind everything together. And of course, all the exact measurements are right down below in the description center for you. Make it nice and easy to link over to my website, which has everything in detail for you. Okay. We are done. Let's make some meatballs. 
Okay, let's make some meatballs here. I have my trusty little meatball scooper here. So I just scoop out some to make the perfect size. Roll it around in my hands here. And what I like to do, this is up to you. I saved some of that buttery Ritz cracker uh, and I coat it in it just like this and set it aside. Uh, it gives it a little more of a lighter, uh, not a, a heavy crunch. So if you like a crunch onto your meatball here or your, your uh, shrimp croquet, if you want to be fancy, um, you can add some panko for a little extra crunch, whatever you'd like to do. I like mine a little more on a delicate side. So just let me finish these up here and uh, we'll fry them up. Let's talk about the wine before we fry up those shrimp croquettes. It is a Sauve Blanc a Matanzas Creek from Alexander Valley. It is in California. Let me get the nose on this. Wow. <laughs> right off the bat, I'm getting melon, white peach with a little bit of lime. Let me taste. Mmm. Wow. I'm getting a little bit of lychee in the taste with kiwi along with the white peach and the lime. This is one fantastic Sauve Blanc, completely different from a Sauve Blanc in the Marlboro region. You will definitely fall in love with this. We're gonna do a shallow fry on these shrimp croquettes. I have a third cup of olive oil in there. If you don't like olive oil, you can switch out for a lighter taste of canola oil. Let's test the oil first. Let's just drop something in. I'm getting a little sizzle like you see. Uh, perfect then. Uh, I have it on a medium to medium high heat. So let's just drop them in here. Remember the shrimp is already cooked through. We're just cooking, uh, warming it up and cooking the, uh, the actual egg that was in the middle there. So there is not going to be, uh, you know, a long time to cook these through. And just cook them in batches uh, and that will finish those at another time. Just a few minutes on each side, maybe a total of five to six minutes. That is it and they are done. To start our easy lemon piccata sauce, I just put a quarter cup of butter pads uh, right into the pan there and I'm going to let that melt and come up to temperature. As soon as you see it start to bubble, we're going to add our flour and make a little roux. Our butter has just started to bubble before the milk solid starting to turn brown before that. And we want to sprinkle in our flour. All the exact measurements are right down below and you just want to cook this out for about two minutes so we get rid of the flour taste. Let's finish this easy piccata sauce. Right now this has been going for about two minutes before the roux starting to turn a little bit of color here. Let's pour in some chicken stock to the mixture. So we'll slowly pour the chicken stock in whisking or stirring, whatever you prefer. Okay. Okay, we're getting all that chicken stock in there. And let that come back up to temperature here. And it will thicken up. Uh, and it's not an exact roux of half uh, oil or half butter and half flour because I don't want it that thick. Um, so that is in, we are going to add some of our wine that we were drinking, right? So we're going to add about a half a cup of our Sauve Blanc, uh, is going right on in. So let's just turn up the heat a little bit on that. And we're just going to let that cook. Okay. Now let's add some lemon juice. So half of a lemon is going right on in. Okay, so 
That lemon is going right on in. We've got capers. And tip on capers, especially if you're a person that says, oh, I'm not such a fan of capers because they're a little too briny. You want to rinse your capers. Very important tip. And some parsley going in. And just some salt and pepper. And that is our easy lemon piccata sauce. It's that simple. And we will drop our shrimp croquets right on in. Now, be very careful with them. They don't need to cook in them because in this because it will they will fall apart and disintegrate. So the piccata sauce is done. What you can do is you can just pour this over top. Let me shut off this burner here. You can pour this lemon piccata sauce over top of your shrimp croquettes or your shrimp meatballs, whatever you'd like to say. Um, and uh, that would be a great choice because you don't want them to disintegrate here into the sauce. Now let's plate everything up. Before I dig in, I would first like to thank all my subscribers. And if you're not yet a subscriber, why not? But hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like and share and ring that bell because I have a new recipe every Tuesday. But I can't wait any longer. I'm digging in. I am ready to devour these shrimp croquettes. Oh yes. Look at that, a little bit of the sauce, that piccata sauce. Oh yeah. Oh, some in my hand. <laughs> I don't know him. Mmm. Wow. That is so delicious. The croquettes are so tender and delicate. You will definitely, definitely love them. That's what I love. You know, I had leftovers and I wanted to think of something to do with already cooked shrimp. Thanks for stopping by Wine and Dine with Jeff and we'll see you next week.